Welcome back. This is episode two, aka the Winter Tot Special, aka not leaving this place <laughs> until 99 fire making, aka they totally aren't holding me here against my will, aka yo help, bro. Nah, but seriously, we aren't leaving this place until 99 fire making. So buckle in, it's gonna be a grind. Oh, and at the end of the 99 journey, we're gonna be opening up a huge chunk of crates from along the entire grind. You're not gonna wanna miss it. Make sure you stay tuned. But before we get into that, in the first episode, I asked you guys to leave me comments about which client you preferred between HDOS and RuneLight. You guys left so many comments and it was really fun getting to read through all of them. Like seriously, I read every single one of them. I tried to respond to as many as possible and this is something that I wanna continue to do with every video in the future. Your comment may even be featured in the next video. So make sure you guys leave me a comment. That being said, we also ran a 10 mil old school RuneScape GP giveaway for those of you who commented with your client preference. That was whether it was between RuneLight or HDOS. The winner of that 10 mil giveaway was Zapdust, dude. Congratulations, Zapdust, on winning. I'll be in touch or likely have already been in touch with the next steps in order to claim your prize. Oh, and as always, I stream most of my progress live on Twitch. Come and hang out and be one of the homies. Oh, they're about to kill him. Damn, dude, look at all these people in here. What the hell? Bam, click Brazier when it starts. So it starts at 50 seconds? Bro, look at how many f people are here. What am I taking damage from? I can't see, man. God damn, that sound is so loud. Jesus Christ. Why does it sound so out here? So what's the highest hit I can get hit with right now? Four? At least one. True. I like that little fletching, little fletching tip. Oh, sh Combat pass. Oh, oh sh Look at the XP, bro. Bro, seeing everybody's HP bar is low-key scary. This is why people do Entity Eider. I like seeing all the people, though. You can get stacked out if the Brazier breaks, Storm drops, and random hit. But yeah, I guess so. It's kind of important to, like, pay attention to the Brazier breaking. I don't like the window sound, dude. How do I turn that shit off? Because I'm just paying attention to it anyways. I know it's probably... It's in the, like, winter time settings or the woodcutting settings. I do not like that alert sound. Entity hider except friends and clan. Yeah, but that's lame. Then it's just me and you here. <laughs> I want to see if I can find the uh, the particle effects. Combat task completed. I don't even know if I had enough points. And then do people just run out, bank, run back in? Is that what they do? They run out, they bank, they run back in? I didn't use that many cakes, so I'm gonna just go with the cakes that I got. Oh, look at the coinage. Salt Peter. Oh, okay, okay, Peter Essence. All right, look at the coinage, though. Look at the coinage, though. Oh, it's gonna be, it is really good for an iron. A Willow Seed. All right, let's see what we get. Oh, hey, yo, we got Torch, dude. I'm gonna make that a moment. That's our first. Change. that's exciting. Yo, I can't believe I got Torch to get started on the log, dude. It was one of the items I wanted the most, especially because it allows for us to have an extra inventory slot. We got it pretty early, too. It looks like my spoon might be carrying over from RS3. Let's go. Seeds? Oh, let's go, dude. Pyromancer Garb. What the spoon? Let's go. Yeah, I still can't believe we started the grind out with Torch and Pyromancer's Garb at 23 KC. This loot's actually pretty good so far. I mean, people told me that Wintertop was good loot, but I didn't think it was going to be like potentially setting me up this good. You know what I mean? Plus, all of the gems that you get for crafting XP, the herbs, the rune essence, all of the logs. 
it's essentially an early game Croesus, which is our only skilling boss in RS3. And it's more of a mid game skiller boss than it is like early game anyways. So the fact that you get to do Winter Tot so fast on an account over here is crazy. Even the gold gain is insane. What an excellent way to start an account out. Even if you aren't an Iron Man, this is like got to be one of the best ways to start out your account. Also, shout out to the runesicle on the side of the screen. It really helped us get through a good chunk of the winter talk grind. Uh, if you guys haven't watched it, it's not bad at all. You even get to make some decisions throughout the musical. Definitely give it a shot. Go and check it out on the YouTube channel. Oh, let's go, dude. We got the fucking hood, brah. Hell yeah. Oh, we're juicing, dude. We're fucking juicing. Pet Inc. at 90 KC. That's crazy. Yeah, I'm at 60 KC right now, so let's grab five crates at a time. Oh, dude, get the fuck out of here, bruh. Pyromancer roams, dude. Bro, what the fuck? How is this even possible? <laughs> hey, yo. Yo. What the fuck? I'm actually blown away by the loot. I just, it's honestly so good. The guy that I'm following wants me to continue opening crates until 200k coins. I feel like I've been a little unlucky. I just don't have 200k yet, but I don't know. We'll see what ends up happening. I'm not complaining. Uh, I'm the type of guy to do three clue scrolls and then open loot right away. Uh, so stacking these crates is kind of like a separate challenge all on its own to be honest with you but i got it it's not a big deal we could do it no problem we're built different now especially on the old school runescape side of things got that grind mentality <laughs> but uh i can't believe how close we are to the full outfit already um we're just missing the uh, boots and the gloves i'm most likely going to continue to open crates until i get the full outfit and then after i get the full outfit i'll start stacking them up until 99 fire making so we'll see how many crates we have by the end of this at this point, we're up to roughly about 120 Winter Tot KC, and uh, I'm still really enjoying the boss. It's still something so unique that we just don't have anything like it in RS3. Uh, and I also think that it's crazy how many people are actively doing it. That's something that I missed so, so much about playing um, MMORPGs that were a little bit more on the popular side is the community aspect, being able to have in-game conversations while doing some of these longer grinds, especially the ones that can be a little bit more monotonous. That being said, a lot of the winter taunt chatter is straight up yapping. But there have been some really good conversations too. And believe it or not, I've made some of my first uh, old school RuneScape friends right here at Wintertot. So I really like that. I feel like maybe it's unusual for a new player uh, to just stick to a 99 grind like this. But I think getting it out of the way while, while having low HP is going to be the move. And the amount of GP and materials that we will earn will pay off big in the long run. So we're going to stick with it and continue the grind. One thing that I think I have an advantage over others is that having an active Twitch chat is really, really nice for grinds such as these. After a while, they're mundane and you just got to push through it. So shout out to everyone that has kept my chat moving and made this 99 much, much, much easier to get. I'm also not the only one that's going for 99 fire making here, so that helps too. Tyler, Ushio, and Slammer are all cranking towards hitting that 99 fire making grind. We're all here at Wintertop, pretty much almost as a team. Uh, and so we're, we're going to have a really good start for our accounts. It's actually really nice. We're all going to have a ton of loot and a ton of money. Being able to do Wintertop with the boys just makes it that much more fun. Our log is shaping up to be pretty nice so far. No duplicates, only missing two pieces of outfit, and the tote of fire. Maybe we'll get super lucky and walk away with pet or dragon hatchet. I mean, I dragon hatchet's like one in 10K. So I don't really know if that's it. That's probably not going to happen. And the pet's like one in 5K. But I do really want an old school RuneScape pet. So it would be pretty sick to walk away with pet. We also stacked up another good chunk of crates up to about 235 winter tot kills now let's see if we can pull anything out of this set we're looking for the tome of fire warm gloves or the pyromancer's boot at this very moment you guys have probably seen a lot of our clan chat at this point too probably a good time to mention that anyone is welcome to come and join our cc as a guest or even as a clan member we're all just dedicated gamers looking to enjoy the game with friends the clan is called 27 gang which is in remembrance of our home world on rs3 which was world 27 if you need an invite feel free to comment and we can get you set up or even guests in the cc and ask anyone in the clan and we'll get you sorted we ran out of cakes 
Quick cake stall break though, not a big deal. We're just gonna collect like 300 to 400 cakes and then we're gonna head back. Should be more than enough to finish out 99. And then anything left over, we could just put in the group storage for the homies that are still grinding out winners. Don't uh, don't tell any of the boys I said this, but yo, 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 like I low key chanced an arty night here. Uh, nothing like adding a little bit of spice to the grind. It is what it is. I didn't die. I'm still alive. I didn't lose a life. I'm built different, bro. I won't lose a life throughout the series. I will not lose a life. Uh, even when we're normal group Iron Man, I guarantee you it won't be because of me. Easy. We got enough cakes. Let's make the long journey back to Wintertime and finish out this grind. We did finally get the boots. We're just missing the Toma Fire and the Warm Gloves at about 380 Wintertime KC. I also decided to take a little bit of time to set up the collection log plugin. What an awesome plugin, by the way. The ability to quick chat it, super, super cool. I love that I could just share off my logs uh, and show them off in the clan chats and in the group chats, so that's awesome. We're also at 96 fire making. The final stretch. We're so close to escaping the Wintertop prison, and then we can get started with the game, right? Can you play some ads for the subs Completed. here? Yo, 99, dude! Before the game! Ah, oh, I was going with these crates. Hey, yo, we did it, bro. First 99 ever in old school RuneScape. Funny enough, dude, I don't even know how this happened, but this was also my first 99 in RuneScape 3, too. It feels super good to have, though. We get a sick cape to wear around. It acts as a light source. It should be pretty helpful in the early game. We ended up finishing at 589 Wintertot KC. I also think we have about 318 crates stacked up, too. It's done. We'd probably go like, you think we'd probably go like, ah, we'll just do 10. We'll do 10 at a time. It's going to take a bit. The rubies are looking good, dude. Look at the loot. Hopefully, so look, we want, we want Tome. We want Dragon Hatchet. Super rare, but we want it. And we want Pet. We do already have a Tome, by the way, because Ushio got a second Tome. So I do have one. But if we get one, it's good for the boys. We got some really good XP gains here. Uh, walking away with 66 woodcutting, 62 fletching, and 45 construction. I also can't wait to see what we end up walking away with in terms of GP and materials after the entire crate opening. Hopefully, we get our warm gloves and a tome of fire to finish the outfit out as well. And obviously, if we get the pet, that'd be super sick too. Any? Nah, I don't want to do any of the three rares. Collection log slot. Oh, completed. we got the gloves, dude. Let's go that's full outfit baby now that we finally got warm gloves all that is really left realistically is to get the tome of fire pet and d hatchet would be pretty sick but both are extremely rare i'm happy with the log thus far do, do we know is it grabbing the boxes from the bottom or is it grabbing them from the top do we know it grabs from the bank oh nice i didn't know that <laughs> And toby dude come on baby let's get the tome on the log pet would be pretty cool you know pet would be pretty sick if we get Tome, it's Toby's. Toby's are slammers. We got another Teak Seed. We're getting really good logs. <laughs> More burnt, burnt pages. Not bad, not bad. Okay, okay, okay. Toad Flax Seeds. Look at the coinage. How many coins do you guys think we're going to have at the end of it? The Terramin Seed. Collection log slot. Yo, let's go! <laughs> let's go, boys! We got a tome, dude. That was in there for the boys, man. Let's go. That was in there for the boys. The team needs one more tome. We have four as a team. <laughs> All right, come on, baby. We're looking for the pet next. We're looking for the pet. And what, yeah, what easy Bye. prediction. True, true. We got two of them, dude. Still tomeless? Nah, yo, you're going to get it by 99 for sure. Better get that pet. I want it. I want it, man. I want it. Yo, come on, dude. We're rooting for Pat. We're rooting for Pat, man. I will freak. I will freak. I want a pet so bad in old school. Okay, okay. Do put is okay. Do put is okay. That means the next one is legs, and I hear you need it for clues. I still don't have any dupe torches. Gotta give me top. <laughs> oh, yo, we got the legs, bro. Easy clue step. Ushio's molding right now. The fact that I got two full sets. <laughs> Ushio's molding, dude. What in the spoon? 18 magic logs. That's huge for uh, for desert treasure. More for the boys. Boots again? That's full set, bro. That's two full sets. 
Oh my god, this loot is so nice. You can trade in the extra sets for more supply crates? I've actually heard that, yeah. That's actually pretty sick. We'll probably do that. Makes no sense to hold on to it. We got it all on the collection log. We thinking any more pieces? Yo, imagine Dragon Hatchet comes out. Oh my god, I'll f*** it. Okay. Just because I know how rare it is here, you know? But crates could have anything. Even pages. We like the pages right now. Especially with how many... Oh, a set! Yo, yo, we got five tomes for the team, bro! Everybody on the team has a tome! That's huge! We're getting hella pages right now, too. Yo, but where's the pet at, though? Where's the pet at, though? I'm gonna put this tome in, this, in the group storage. But yeah, we've all been at Winter Tots, so we're all... Yo, yo! I got gloves and torch in the same crate? What? Pet twice in one... Now that's disgusting. How about pet once, please? Oh, there goes the top. Damn, I'm about to make a set for the boys. Too bad you can't trade them. Yo, no way! Another tome? Three of them? Bro! <laughs> Bro! Oh my god. <laughs> this is ridiculous, dude. Holy f this spoon. Yo, I told you guys. I told you guys. Yo, pet's coming. Pet's coming. There ain't no way we don't get it. Yo, no lie, the log is pretty nutty at this point. We have three tomes, two full Pyromancer sets. Uh, we're going to be able to get a ton of burnt pages with all the extra dupes. Still no pet yet, but quite a bit of crates left, so there's still some hope. Probably not, but we can hope. I just got hood with 29 burnt pages. I have a lot of uh, extra clothing to trade in. I don't have inventory space. This was a juiced up, <laughs> juiced up inventory right here. All right, that's the third torch right there. That means uh, torso seeds are next. Come on, baby. Let's see that pet. Okay, Pyromancer robes again. Next up's boots. That's almost three full outfits. Ah, man, no fucking pet. I hope oh, somebody shit. on this team gets pet, dude. Unfortunately, no pet, but it's kind of what we expected. What an insane log. 589 KC to get 99 fire making. Walking away with three tomes of fire, three pyromancer outfits, and we got a bunch of dupe torches. I think I had about 12 torso seeds as well. And so every time you get a dupe torch after three torches, it equals two to three torso seeds. We got 1 million GP, which is a pretty juicy boost to the early game grind as an iron. And we kind of enjoyed the push. Honestly, I don't regret it at all. I don't regret staying in Winter Tot this long. Now I'm just super excited to get the game started and to be free of the Winter Tot purgatory, man. Two days, 23 hours playtime, and we can finally start the game. If you've made it through the entire video, please consider leaving a like and subscribing. It helps us out massively. We're just getting started on our old school journey, and all the support so far has been phenomenal. Next up, it's time to start fleshing out the rest of our account, and I can't wait to start building the stats up. I'll see you guys in the next episode.